biggest problem with landing a job in the current market is that people require experience even for fresher roles and that is a big problem that many of you are facing many new software engineers are facing that if you are a fresher then how the hell are you supposed to get experience without your first job you're going for your first job and they want you to have some experience so in this video i'm going to break down for you how i got five plus internship offers without a prior experience and what you can learn and how you can go ahead and implement that in 2025 so i'm going to talk about the latest changes with ai and what are some things that worked for me and will also work for you so let's go ahead and dive right in. And before we move on to the video, if you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your friends and family. It means a lot and also motivates me to keep creating content for you guys. And now I won't talk any further. Let's go right into it. So the number one thing that you can do is personal branding. Now, a lot of companies, a lot of people will only either refer you or only recruiters will only reach out to you if you have a personal brand. So what I mean by that is if you are showcasing your skills on platforms like LinkedIn or having a proper github profile setup or you're probably talking about your achievements on x so these are some ways through which you can get recruiters to notice you you can get companies to notice you and you can build your personal brand in that way and the other thing that you need to do is whenever you're applying to an internship make sure or a job application make sure that your resume is tailored to the role in most of the cases you should only be applying to roles that you are suitable for but in case you're applying to a role through which you don't even have those technical skills make sure that you that note down a project that is related to job role and make sure that you are adding those skills and tailoring your resume and writing a cover letter which is related to that. To get a job as a fresher, you need to have the right skills. And I recently came across Intern Shala's full stack development placement guarantee course, which will take you from beginner to pro in just six months. Top companies are hiring on Intern Shala, and you will learn from top industry experts as well. And it's very comprehensive. You have live and on-demand sessions. You will have learn about latest AI tools. And along with that, you get to build industry-level projects, which you can add onto your resume and is going to be very valuable. You also get guaranteed placement. You will have AI-driven practice interviews and access to top brands and high-paying jobs, which you generally won't. And you also get a certificate by Internshala trainings at the end of the course, which is very valuable and you can add on to your resume to showcase companies that you have the skills that you say that you do. And this is very valuable. I have seen it personally. And along with that, this course is very comprehensive. You have about 500 plus hours of learning, nine courses, seven projects and many AI tools covered as well. You will learn about HTML, CSS, React, ExpressJS, MongoDB, chat GPT and also data structures and algorithms that we know is very important. The link is in the description and the pin comment. Check so it out. Make sure that you are putting in work in every application that you are applying to and having a personal brand talking about your skills on LinkedIn, on GitHub, on X is very, very important. The second thing I would say is finding the right opportunities. So even for me, instead of going ahead and randomly applying to all of the companies which are there, I would suggest that you shortlist maybe four or five companies that you want to work at, that you want to target, and then you go ahead and make and create your personal portfolio or your resume according to that company so let's say you really want to work at uber make sure that you're building some projects which are related to graphs maybe you are building some iot device which calculates the shortest path route and has that iot device that will move around make sure you're building things which are very specific to the job role. So instead of randomly going ahead and applying to companies, make sure that you have a list of 10 to 15 companies that you want to target and then read up on profiles of people who are currently working at the company. So that is one thing that I really do is that whenever I want to work at a company, I will go ahead and see the profile of people who are already working there. I will look at their profile and I will, on, I will look at the LinkedIn profile. I will see what is missing. What are the skills that they have that I don't currently have? And then I will start working on those skills. So that is one thing that even you can follow. So make sure you shortlist 10 to 15 companies you go ahead and check out the profile of people who are already working there and find the missing gaps analysis and then work start working on those skills the third thing that you should do is networking and finding the right mentors so what i would say is that these companies currently a lot of them host competitions a lot of them have their events which are being organized now some events are being moved offline to or they will have some kind of mentorship program or some kind of online career fair. So make sure that you are keeping an eye on any events that these companies are organizing, any competitions that they're organizing, and then go ahead and attend that. So that way you can be, you can have something which is really related to that company. You can connect with the recruiters, you can connect with the employees that are currently working at the company, and that will really help you in getting into notice and getting into the limelight of the recruiters. So make sure that you are networking, you are talking about those companies, 
you're reaching out to the right people, recruiters and employees. So that is something that really helped me when I wanted to prepare for Google as well. So I was participating in Google related events, Google related hackathons, even coding contests. So if that is not being organized right now, make sure that you connect with the recruiters or the employees, but make sure that you're really, really giving it your all to network and let the people know. Even after doing all of this, if you're still not able to get an opportunity, I would say start contributing to open source. Open source is totally free. It is for everyone. You can go ahead and participate in open source programs like Google Summer of Code or MLH Fellowship or Outreachy. Or probably you can go ahead and participate in open source programs that don't pay you, but you can still go ahead and learn open source contributions. And that is also counted as real world experience. Beginners are always welcome in the open source community. Go ahead and introduce yourself. And instead of pinging mentors personally, try to communicate in the public channel and start making some code contributions, which you can then add in your resume, which will also be counted as an experience when you're applying to companies. So if none of the above three tips work, go ahead and start contributing to open source. It personally worked for me as well. So when I was in first year, I participated in an open source program, which was not paid, but I still got to do the open source experience. I got to contribute to a repository where I then added those details in my resume because of which I was able to get an internship at X. So as you can see that I started very early in my first year with open source contribution because of which I was able to get an internship in my second year itself through that experience. So you can do that. If nothing is working, go ahead and start contributing to open source. And those are the four things that I would suggest you can do. And that's it for the video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and definitely check out the full stack development placement guarantee course by Intern Shala Trainings. The link is in the description and in the pin comment below. And keep watching for more such insightful content and comment in the video what is something that you did not understand or something that you would like me to talk about and i will make sure that i cover it in the next video until then bye bye